Some NATO members seek clear language in the summit statement indicating Ukraine's irreversible path toward NATO, beyond last year's pledge that Ukraine's future lies in NATO. NATO, marking its 75th anniversary, has found renewed purpose in opposing Putin's invasion of Ukraine, which will dominate private discussions among the leaders. Concerns about Biden's longevity in office added to existing anxiety among leaders already apprehensive about the possibility of Trump's return. According to diplomats from their countries, Biden will host a rare solo press conference on Thursday to address concerns and rally both allies and domestic support. As Biden sought to galvanize allies and domestic backing, several senior European officials met with a top foreign policy advisor to Trump during the summit. NATO leaders face political uncertainty in Europe, with potential gridlock in France following gains by left and far right parties and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's coalition weakened after a poor showing in European Parliament elections. A U.S. intelligence official stated on Tuesday that Russia prefers Trump to win the upcoming election. Newly appointed British Prime Minister Keir Starmer pledged to increase UK defence spending to 2.5% of GDP, fulfilling a campaign promise after a review of defence strategy and when economically feasible. A senior NATO official indicated on Tuesday that Russia currently lacks the munitions, and troops for a major offensive in Ukraine, needing to secure additional ammunition supplies from other countries beyond its current stockpiles. However, he estimated Russia could sustain its wartime economy for three to four more years, adding that Ukraine would also need time to accumulate the necessary munitions and personnel for large-scale offensive operations.